Welcome to Andreas Wrestling World. Today we look at one of the most exciting title matches of the year. Seth Freakin' Rollins vs. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. For the World Heavyweight title, who could come out on top? Let's dive in. Seth Rollins went into this match as champion. But the challenge from Shinsuke Nakamura was anything but easy. Nakamura, known for his unpredictable fighting skills and brutal kicks, was targeting Rollins' injured back. The rivalry built week by week, and Nakamura never missed an opportunity to weaken Rollins. Right from the start of the match, the tension was palpable. Nakamura immediately went for Rollins' back while Seth tried to keep up his fast pace. Rollins didn't go down easily, but you could tell he was in pain as Nakamura kept attacking his weak spot. In the middle of the match, Nakamura clearly took control. His knee and elbow strikes were precise, and time and again it looked as if Rollins could lose the title. Shinsuke's experience and his strong style techniques made life difficult for him. But Rollins wouldn't be the freaking champion if he didn't keep getting back up. He came back with an incredible fighting spirit and his unwavering will. Seth fired off some of his trademark moves. Super kick, falcon arrow, and of course the stomp. But Nakamura didn't give up. The match went back and forth and there were several near falls that had the crowd holding their breath. Nakamura even used his infamous Kinshasa, but Rollins managed to escape the pin at the last moment. In the end, it was Rollins who ended the match with a final stomp and defended his title. What an incredible match. Seth Rollins proved why he is the world heavyweight champion, but Nakamura pushed him to his limits. What do you guys think? Should Nakamura get a second chance? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Andreas Wrestling World for more recaps and wrestling news like this. See you next time.